Well, hello, everyone! Oh my gosh! <laughs> it is so good to see your names in the chat. I'm not even kidding. <gasps> I've missed you! <laughs> this is awesome. Um, actually, I was sitting here, I'm like, what if nobody comes? Because it's not the normal time. But oh my gosh, this is this is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for joining me this evening. This is one of those things where I looked at the calendar and I looked at when I last streamed and I looked back at the calendar and I looked back at when I last streamed and I realized it's been a hot minute. I am, my my apologies. I did not expect things to um, to do what they did. Let's put it that way. We had a couple of things come our way that I don't think any of us were expecting this whole, you know, having to isolate ourselves type of thing. Cause, um, we're not gonna talk about the dough. Positive things, positive things. And let me fix this, because I'm realizing that's a wee bit low. Uh, da -da, there we go. So we didn't know that was going to be a thing. Also, didn't realize that because of everyone being at home, that work was going to explode in terms of how much I'd be doing. And by the time 5 o'clock rolls around, I am exhausted. But I am happy to say there's some stuff in the works where you will still be seeing me do things like tutorials and whatnot. May not necessarily be on my own channel, but I am. there's, there's stuff. There's stuff. Okay, there's stuff happening. And please don't laugh. I've had to loan my cameras to my children because of homeschooling through the interwebs. So I had to move this camera and I'm still trying to get it back to where it kind of was before, but I think that's about as close as it's going to get. Hello, John, how are you? Um, but yeah, so it's it's been hectic, good hectic. I mean, I'm quite thankful that I am still with WizKids and that things are going well and I'm involved in a few things that are super exciting, super fun. Can't talk about it. <laughs> Got a few of those in the works. Um, unfortunately, as everyone knows, a lot of the conventions have just pretty much been put to a full stop. So all the con appearances obviously are completely done with not happening until... Uh, let's say PAX Unplugged is, is one that I'm hoping for, fingers crossed. As far as I know right now, the castle is still on, and that's in September. So I'm thinking fall is the earliest we're going to be seeing anything starting to creep back in. Honestly, just stay home and keep yourself safe. So yeah, like I said, my schedule's just kind of done this complete little flip around, and then there's other stuff going on now on top of it. So yeah, hi! <laughs> hello, hello, hello! Oh, wonderful names to see. Uh, we're doing okay. We're, we're managing, Danielle. It's been interesting. I got the NDA in my pocket. Uh, but it's fine. It's going to be some really cool stuff once I can start um, chatting about it more. And I don't think I like this song. I don't like that song. That song was annoying me. So I want it. Don't laugh. I have been dealing with minis all day today. Um, you, you should see. <laughs> oh my god. You should see what has happened to my basement. I look like a little game store. It is hysterical. Uh, but I've been dealing with lovely minis from work all day today. I needed a break and I actually have been wanting to do this cute little chibi mini, especially because I've gotten into playing Animal Crossing. Yes, I have fallen prey, victim, eager cultist, whatever you want to call us to that wonderful, wholesome little game that's honestly been fantastic just to jump on in there, be able to connect with friends, visit each other's islands and do all these things. But she's been looking at me as I've been stashing away other minis and I want to paint her tonight. And I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna do it where it's just fun, bright colors. I'm using craft paints, people. I'm using whatever paints come to mind. Uh, if you wanna know what this mini is, she is one of the chibi minis from the Reaper Bones uh, 4 Kickstarter. And uh, yeah, it's it's been one of those things. I, I always skip the songs. <laughs> I don't like the song. <laughs> Bye. Uh, so I'm gonna paint her up tonight and I'm just going to enjoy the process and not worry about um, using certain paints over other paints. It's gonna be honestly whatever speaketh to me. Because, dang it, I just want to paint for fun. Uh, not that I don't love painting for tutorial purposes, but I've been doing a lot of tutorials lately. It's been cranking them out um, one after the next. Again, these will show up later on in a different channel type of thing. But uh, I want to I wanna relax and enjoy. And I want you guys to relax and enjoy as well. Well, I mean, it's chill mini painting because I'm not freaking out about the fact it's like I'm going to use paint from this company, paint from that company and everything like that. It's like I'm crossing streams here, people. 
<laughs> and I am going to call things off at nine, uh, simply because it was a work day today and I have been photographing minis all day today. Um, giving them the glamour shots. You probably, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw the giant who I could have sworn was a dude, but I guess is a chick or maybe an in between, you know, maybe an in between situation. I don't, it's a very handsome mini. Let me put it that way. It's a good looking mini and a fantastic model. So I like it, the mini. Um, <laughs> oh, chili. See, I'm still reading it as chill. Chili. Yes, I'm going to teach you how to make chili. Could you imagine? Actually, I do like making chili and I make a mean chili. Mm. That could be a fun stream to do one night. I'm cooking instead of painting. Would you actually want that? The cra Well, I mean, cooking is kind of a craft. It's sort of on brand. Um, so, yes. Oh, and you'll notice that... Uh, Hello, Mike Hawkins. I, I have a new brand of seltzer that I love. Not sponsored, but please! Oh my gosh, I love this seltzer brand. Mmm. Wonderful. I'm chilling. I'm totally chilling. So, basically, what I did with her ahead of time is just my usual shadow layer stuff, because I love to do that. It makes me happy to do that. Uh, so started off with black, I jumped up to a granite gray, and then I went to, it's a, please don't laugh, it's a color called Snowflake. It's not quite a pure white, it's more of a very, 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 very light gray. So, um, that, those are the layers I did for her, and I just, I just think these are so much fun. So what I'm going to do is start with the skin, and then work my way out, um, and go from there, my camera's here. <laughs> so, I'm going to have some fun with this. Oh, Peyton, I send you chili? That would be interesting. We did try the cooking, John, didn't we? Yes, that, but we did the drinking first. That was the problem. <laughs> oh, I should make that drink again. That was actually a really good one, the dragon's hoard. That was a really good one. Oh, thank you, Bays, for stopping in, though. It was lovely that you could stop by for just a little bit. So I'm going to give her this lovely, rich brown skin tone. So I'm starting with... No, I'm starting with the wrong color because I'm talking with you guys. I'm starting with brown oxide. Cute little mini. She is very adorable. Um, have I heard of... Oh, I've done paint and sips. I have absolutely done paint and sips. I have a few canvases upstairs in my uh, home of canvases that I have painted while sipping. Tragically, however, uh, a year ago... Those are the cats, by the way, and I'm going to sneeze. Allergies are horrible right now. <laughs> I know, I sneeze like a mouse. Um, <laughs> catching it before you say it. So it's one of those things where um, I got a really bad upper respiratory infection about a year ago. And it had sulfa in it. And my body, like I broke out in hives, my joints ached, everything hurt. And then ever since then, I can't drink wine. What's interesting, my mother my mother has a sulfates allergy, so we think that may have triggered my own. So sadly, your girl cannot uh, participate in the vino, which for me is hard. I'm not happy about it. Um, all right, so let me get her going. Do I need to yoink the camera just a little? I think I do. So yeah, that's been, um, that's been sad for me that I can't have my lovely Vince anymore. And, uh, you know, basically been hanging out with Tito. I love my Titos. That's been grand. So I'm just going to start with this brown oxide as her base skin tone. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to uh, Coffee Latte for the highlighting with her. I'm just going to do a little bit of water in this, though. Thin it just a little bit. She's probably going to need a couple of layers. This brown oxide tends to run a little transparent. Um... You know, mead. Ooh, that's a good question. I haven't... Have I had mead? When's the last time I had mead? I think I had mead at the castle, actually. Um, last year. So maybe I could do mead? Question mark? I'm honestly not sure. I will I will investigate that. But yeah, that's that's been one of those little bits of... Uh, yeah, slight change of plans. I'm actually going to do her eyes last, so I'm not too concerned if I get anything on the eyeball, because the eyeball is getting its own little treatment later. For now, I just want to get this going on her skin to get this lovely skin tone going here. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's going to take a couple layers, though, which is fine. Um, so yeah, work's been keeping me busy. I've also still been doing the DM stuff for Cobalt Press. However, because 
<laughs> because of work being so busy, I have switched it to doing work every other Sunday now. So this Sunday, the last air will be going and we will be playing and we will be eager to see you in the group chat for sure over on Twitch for Cobalt Press. And then I do the Nerdarchy game like you were talking about in the chat. I do the Nerdarchy game. That is a once a month deal. So we try to do it every third-ish Friday. If it's not the third Friday, it's the last Friday is sort of how it's been tracking. I think I'm going to just hold the cap, quite frankly. I don't need that big weight. I'm just going to do the cap itself. Um, oh, this is drying to a beautiful color, though. I'm quite happy with this. So that's a once a month deal. So in a couple weeks, I want to say, we'll be playing again. And then still doing the every Thursday, the Dawnbringer stuff. And actually, do be sure to give her, give a little bit, 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 get over to, <laughs> she's back. Get over to Jake's Twitch channel this whole week. Uh, he's doing the Jasper's Game Week. Fantastic selection of DMs and players and games and everything like that. They are running every single day this week, uh, all for the good cause of Jasper's Game Day, which is a suicide prevention awareness cause. Fenway, darling dear that she is, she's come up with this whole fundraiser. It's, it's something she's been doing for a couple years now with great success. She is a lovely, lovely human being. And if you can get on over there, watch one of the streams, support it however you so choose, whether it's just giving some eyes on the stream, whether you want to donate. There are fantastic chances to win different prizes. A lot of different companies have donated things, with kids included. And, um, you know, it's just, it's a wonderful, beautiful cause. And I, again, this it's this whole week coming up. I want to say the first games run at 2? Two? 2 or noon. I'd have to double check that. But it's mini terrain domain is where you want to go for all of this. Oh, I'm loving this color. Actually, I may not have to do the highlighting because it's showing as it dries. It's showing the shadow layers quite nicely. So this may be a one and done for her. There's just a couple spots I can tell need a little bit more, but that's actually looking quite nice. That's why I love these things. Oh, la da 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 da. Meat is delicious. Hey, Jeremy, I thought you had a game, dude. Talmud. My darling Talmud. <laughs> oh my god, last night's game was so much fun. Really needed it too. It was one of those things where I was quite happy to see all the lovely faces of my DM and my player friends and fantastic. All right, Justin, thank you so much. Go and do sailor stuff. Stay safe, okay? Be good, stay safe. That's all I ask. That's all I ask of anyone right now. Please stay safe. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to do one layer on her because this is drying beautifully. I like it when little surprises like this happen. That's really quite, quite lovely. Yeah, I like this. This is this is stunning. This is where I wanted it to be. Ha 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 ha. Okay, well that's not too bad. Your Talmud is showing through, Jeremy. <laughs> Aw. I don't know what Cantriel would do without her Talmud and their little bickering fests. <laughs> Alright, I have to look at her neckline, which means she's getting pulled off of the Ooh, okay. Yeah, she's got like this um, open diamond thing going on here. So that's good to uh, be aware of. So I'm not painting where I don't need to paint. But yeah, that, that was a fun, uh, interesting ending. I got, well, I didn't, but Cantriel got shot by a Bahir. A lightning strike. Holy, holy moly. Hey, who remembers my muselings? Who remembers what we named the Bahir? What was it? Do you remember? Because I'm complete. I thought I, I don't know. I don't know what I thought because Jake brought out the Bahir and he said it was uh, Bahir Arthur. And I am desperately trying to remember what we named her. The one that I painted on my stream. Not too terribly long ago, but clearly long enough for me to go, huh? It's I, I'm completely drawing a blank on it. I didn't have a time to watch it over again to get the name. Undead. Ooh, was undead. I'm like reading from the middle down for the chat. Not always the best way to go. See, I thought it was Blue Anne. Wasn't it Blue Anne Rhymes? I could have sworn that's what it was. 
Will you be? Blue. I think that's what I think it was, Blue Ann, because I remember singing that for that stream. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, what fools these mortals be. Hmm, this is turning into a fun angle. She's got these cute little chubby cheeks, but then trying to get underneath her chin line is, um, proving in, I think. But yeah, I've been painting some minis lately. Um, hello, undead, how are you? Okay, see, it's not, it's Blue Ann. See, I think it was Blue Ann. We're all saying Blue Ann. It was Blue Ann. I thought so. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I was losing my mind. So we were dealing with Blue Ann. I'm going to give her little cheeks some blush. I think that would be fun. But I want this paint to dry a little bit first before I go over and do that. Um, I am just kind of quickly doing a few little touches here and there. But look at how pretty that is with the layers showing up underneath. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to fiddle too much. This is This is looking just how I'd like it to look. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we're all saying it was Blue Ann. So saith the chat, so saith we all. Literally. Yeah, she's pretty. Oh, I love this color. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was fun to get shot by lightning, and my HP is not looking too grand. <laughs> I think I'm less than half at this point now. Uh, yeah, they are. This one got me dead center strike mode. So we shall see what happens. Okay, so. Got to carefully paint around her collar. But I had had, I had some fun painting a bunch of different minis. I did a gelatinous cube. Which, that's always a fun one. Just because, you know, it's a gelatinous cube. It wasn't it, though. Good grief. Hiding behind the ropers. Uh, not Three's Company Ropers, like the Monsters Ropers. That was an unpleasant surprise. I was not happy about that. I'm debating if I want to stop the song or not. Like I do. Okay, so that takes care of that. You didn't even get touched. I know, you were just like, bloop. Totally fine. Lucky Talmud. <laughs> <laughs> the dice were on your side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Make great trophies once defeated. Oh, Cantriel has an idea now. Although, what would she do with a Bahir head? Really? Oh, we could put it in Fig's hat. <laughs> I didn't just go there. Nope, didn't just go there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, looks like she has actual hands and not gloves going. Hey, yay, yay. Let's get some lovely color on her hands then. So, yes, we've been doing that with uh, Dawnbringers. In fact, Dawnbringers is going to be wrapping up Jasper's Game Week. So come and join us. We're doing a sort of one-off. We're still using our uh, PCs. Only, this is the fun part, it's going to have a little spin on the usual. And uh, I get to break out a new accent. And I'm very excited about it for Cantriel. I think it'll be a fun way to play her and just kind of change it up a little bit. If you hear that buzz buzz, that's my phone saying, what, what? Ah, da, da. All right, so I started saying how I started playing Animal Crossing, and I got to tell you, getting a Nintendo Switch Lite, mind you, and it matches my logo. Thank you very much. Probably one of the best things I've done for myself in a very long time, just because of the whole get some downtime. And it was one of those things where I was like, mm, you know what? Got my first paycheck that I have had in like a decade. Let me treat myself to something, and I was debating what to get, and all of a sudden, all my buddies are playing Animal Crossing, and it became sort of a no-brainer mode of like, yeah, this, this this is what I'm gonna get. Oh, she's got such cute little hands. Such tiny little hands, darling. So yeah, I went in that direction. The new, the new accent. No, I think I'm gonna hang on to the accent before I share it too much. But if anyone has ever watched a BB's place, it's along those lines. You made a dice jail. Lovely. See, I hate rolling. I, I, mm, roll 20 doesn't like me. 
You can ask my friends who have played with me on roll 20 and I go to use the dice. Not pretty. It's just not pretty. Oh, she only has three fingers. Interesting. Okay, so this is sort of a cartoon approach then. I didn't notice that before. Um, Because there's her wee little thumb. So yeah, I will... If we're playing on roll 20 and the DM is good with it, I will roll my own dice, thank you very much. Because roll 20 notoriously will just lowball me every single time, even as a DM. Uh, which, you know, my players love when I was using it. But we all are dice godlins, so we just, we've all started just rolling our own dice too for last air. Uh, which was fun. Talmud has the most excellent luck because it is fantastic for his backstory and his character development, I have decided. Ever since that first door, poor Talmud, I think this is part of her wrist right here. I say with <laughs> hesitation. But I'm super excited for the colors I'm going to use for her. I just, I literally was looking at my craft paints and I went for like the most bright and cheerful ones I could grab because I want a bright and cheerful chibi. Oh, I'm really happy with how her skin's looking though. I'm going to do just a little bit more around this area. We might have to give her some makeup. Oh, that's really lovely. Oh, that's so nice and rich. I'm happy with this. Quite, 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 quite. I don't want to overdo it on her. Question is, do I give her eyebrows? Hmm. <laughs> you don't trust digital die rollers? Yeah, neither do I. I'm just giving her a quick check. Not the store. A look. A quick look. So, hmm. It's been interesting having the kids doing the school from home stuff. Because I'm literally working while they're doing their schoolwork. We all have different Zoom meetings happening at different times. It's an absolute riot. It, these kids lucked out that their mother is a streamer. Because when all this stuff came down with, Oh, you need to be on this call, and that call, and this call. I was like, okay, here you go, kiddos. Here we go. Yep, mm -hmm, you take this, you do that. Da, 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 da. Alright, so I'm looking at her. She's got a bodice. And then she has sort of like a nice dress that's underneath the bodice. And then this cute little boot sticking out. I'm just looking here to see I've got everything figured out with her. Yeah, so I'm going to treat this as a sort of like a corset bodice type of thing. And then this is going to be her dress. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I am going to let her skin dry and start working on the color of the dress. Now the dress color, hmm, I think, because I picked out here, I'll show you the two colors I picked out. Oh, come here. Like I said, I was going nice and bright because I thought these would be lovely together. Very bright and springy, especially with the skin tone. So I'm thinking, thinking dress orange, bodice yeah, uh, green. What about her ears? Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. She has ears, you're right. I'm so used to the ears being hidden. <laughs> oh, God. If it were a snake, it would have bit me. Oh. Yay. Ooh. Hold on. A little, little bit more of my brush than I wanted. I will say the one thing about these Reaper minis, you definitely have to make sure you prime these guys. Um, and make sure it is a solid primer because you'll find if you don't prime these and you try and paint without a primer, your paint is going to beat up something awful. For some reason it just, this particular plastic used, I don't know what happened, but I always make a point to prime these like, I actually do a couple layers of primer, to be honest. She got two because the first layer was so streaky. So just if heads up, if you uh, get a hold of one of these, prime, 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 prime. Oh my gosh, how could I forget the ears? Of course she does. She's one of my relatives. <laughs> All right, no, no, song, nope. 
No. Be nice. I skip songs. Be nice. <laughs> I actually did forget the ears. <laughs> uh, I was. I'm so excited about getting the bright colors on. Because I'm really looking forward to like colors. A lot of the minis I've been painting lately have been grays and browns with very little colors to them. So this is exciting. I'm getting distracted by the pretty. It happens. It's a thing. Uh, bones, not bones black. Bones. Straight up bones. Damn bones, damn bones. Little ears. Sweet little ears. Here's I am giving just a little bit of extra live. A little bit of extra layers to them, too. There we go. Now we have our ears. I'm actually going to hold up on the hair. Because that is blick. And, well, it's going to be like a very dark... I think what I might do is like an actual wash. And she's got boots on, remember? Let's talk about her boots. So she's got her boots on. No toes there. There we go. Let me just... It's funny. Sometimes the camera picks up a little bit more than what the... Your own eyes will pick up. That's good. Oh, much better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. <laughs> oh, I did that too, Jer. They have to be washed because of the release agent. That's that's any given with most minis that aren't pre-primed. Um, definitely wash them. But this... For some reason, it just, it beads up in a couple of areas, even after you've washed them. So it's one of those things, just can't get grip on my foot here. Uh, it's one of those things you have to be careful and watch out for. Yeah, I'm thinking the dress is going to be this lovely, rich apricot. Because look at how cute that is. Or did I put myself in a conundrum? Maybe I did. Yeah, dress is going to be apricot. <laughs> oh, have I not opened you? I have not opened this one. Oh! <gasps> I dropped a tool. <laughs> they're wee little hands and they're cute. All right. Always cut away. Remember? Safety tip. Crafting safety tip. Cut away from yourself. God, I've, I've seen a couple of crafting videos where people are like, and then I'm going to cut. And you're like, oh, dear God, you're going to go to the emergency room is what you're going to do. <laughs> oh, do do that. These, yeah, these do not take well to the spray primer at all. At all. Um, one round of them, I didn't spray them. Um, they were sprayed by someone else and not pretty. Oh, it was not pretty. <laughs> Hi, Rory. Rory is underneath my art desk right now. All right. Oh, this is such a pretty color. If I eep, it's because she's... Hi! <laughs> she's trying to climb onto my lap right now. Uh, hello, Vince. Oh, I've been absent too, dear, so don't worry. No apologies necessary. You come when you can uh, show up and hang out with us when you can. That is totally fine by me. Oh, keep it in the frame. Keep it in the frame. Oh, yes. This is a pretty color. Oh, yay! Look at how bright and sunny this is. So I think what I'm going to try and do, because what time is it? It's almost to the half hour. Not too bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, I'm definitely calling it at nine. So I'll see how far I get with her. And then she'll just kind of be my fun little project to jump into when I can just do a fun little stream here and there. This isn't going to be something where it's every Friday type of thing. Because again, I can't guarantee. It just depends on how, ha, depends on how my work week is. All right. Have fun. Oh, jeez. I have to see Dungeon Matron. I have to listen to the accents first to mimic them because I have a mimic. Like, well, not the whole chest mimic, but I have to hear it first. And then my ear will pick up the cadence of the accent. However, that doesn't seem to be the case with Australian or New Zealand at all. I cannot do either of those, though I have tried desperately. Um, unless I just listen to AJ for months on end. Every single day. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to paint the stones different anyways. Always do the base last because of that. Mm, 
I fixed it, John. Remember, this is chill. This is chill. My set has also been disassembled, so I'm getting used to where everything is now relocated. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that, that thing is not quite where it was before. I can tell by how I'm naturally trying to sit. My camera's off by about three inches. I'll fix it later. It's been an adventure, hasn't it? All right, got a little bubble action back there, but mm, that's okay. She's still cute. I actually like this song. This is fun. The scabbard's going to be fun to paint up. There's some really pretty details on it. The little swirly details, that'll be fun. Let's spin the palette a little bit. <laughs> my palette, by that I mean my paper plate. Your girl is basic. Mm, little spot here. I am so excited tomorrow morning. If you follow me on Twitter, you see that I share um, on Saturdays when it's our Saturday morning cartoon game. And it is a lovely group of people. We crack each other up to no end. Much needed, by the by. And tomorrow, we are going into Barovia. And I cannot wait. I have wanted to dabble and get into doing Strahd. I did do a little guest appearance as an NPC on M's channel, Dice on Ice. But this is actually one I'm going to be able to actually play as a player. And I'm super excited. Um, am I enjoying my job? Yes. Mm, very much so. Like, it's, it's incredible. It's wonderful. The people are lovely. It, it, it's just a, hmm. It's a good fit. It's, just, it's a good fit. I'm thrilled to be there. I am enjoying getting to meet and uh, interact with some people and lovely co-workers. It's truly a great group of people. Uh, I've liked WizKids before even becoming one of their employees and now even more so. So yeah, I'm very happy with the job. It's it's fun. It, it really is. It's interesting. It's it's fast paced, which for me is not a bad thing. Uh, lots of changing of hats, which again, for me, not a bad thing. But it's been wonderful so far. Knock wood. I, I, I plan on sticking around for as long as they'll have me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I mean, you know, I get minis. I get to play with minis. I get to send people minis. And ask them to play with the minis and tell me about it. It's truly wonderful. Oh, I'm glad I went with this color. This is just so darn stinking cheerful and pretty. I'm liking that. Look at how. Do -ka -do -ka -do. <laughs> I know. I feel badly that I haven't been as active as I was in the past, but that was also I was active in the past because I was you know, pretty much working on the channel full time, but it was more labor of love than actual getting paid to do it. And now I'm getting paid to do what I love to do. So it's kind of a no brainer, isn't it? Um, it will be nice once the conventions are, well, once, once things are back to, you know, safe to go out again and we can do conventions and whatnot. I'm very much looking forward to that and just being able to see people again. And I loved doing the painting classes at the conventions and interviews and everything like that. And then just seeing people and being able to meet up with them and say hello and hand out the muse die and everything like that yeah my mm, my camera is off by three inches oh well like i said i realized i need to get my cameras back from the kids this evening i'm like oops <laughs> forgot that wasn't set up anymore i will say um because whiz kids has been trying to do these paint nights they were supposed to be happening at stores but mm, obviously that's not happening Hello, Jake. So there is now happening. It's called Take and Paint, where what we have done is we have a website where you can go and check out and see if your local game store is offering either curbside pickup or if they'll ship to your home after purchasing from them. So if you are looking and um, 
you want to still keep the little guy in business, please do be sure to go and check that out. Uh, I think I should probably put that link in my description after this is done. So we have that going on, and we're also trying to help stores sort of do their own paint nights and streams. So we'll see how this all works out. Um, so yeah, it's one of those things where we'll get it all pulled together. We'll get there. We'll get there. Eventually, we'll all get through this. Huh, how am I gonna get those parts? I have a tight space to work in. There's a little bit of her shoulder to her dress right up here. A wing and a prayer, folks. A wing and a prayer. There we go. Just a hint of color. We're good. <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's Jake from State Farm. No, not State Farm. Just Dark Jake. Jake from Mini Terrain Domain. Ta -da! You ready for this week, Jake? It's all set and ready to go for you. Uh, what were the times again, Jake? When do you start your games? I'm looking at the chat like I'm looking at him. Hello. When are your games starting again next week? I was, I was trying to remember and... Um, <laughs> so, if you don't mind sharing that tidbit of information, that would be lovely. Your Twitch channel is already in my description, because I have uh, Dawnbringer's details in my description. So you can check that out and follow the link there. Doodaloo. Okay, don't like this song. No, okay, bye Bubble Funk. It's There's too much funk and not enough bubble. <gasps> Ooh, I like a Lisa one. This is a good one. Yep, knock, knock. I played this when I was running BB's place. It's too perfect for BB's. Little yellow sleeve. The other nice side effect about Animal Crossing, and my credit card thanks me for this one, I have been shopping for my island stuff on Animal Crossing as opposed to spending money online. <laughs> Oh, okay, it was noon to midnight. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was 2 or noon. Uh, so thank you for uh, clarifying that. Eastern time. Eastern time, folks. So this window of time. Eastern. So. There we go. The more you know. Is it Thursday yet? You shot me with a Bahir! <laughs> and we're all agreeing it was Blue Ann. Her name is Blue Ann. Ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -da -dum. Oh, this is an annoying angle. There we go. Oh, look at how cute and cheerful this color is. I love, I love, I love. I mean, it's a chibi. You gotta go. You gotta go bright colors for the chibi. The chibi baby. Yep, I'm going to start dancing. Careful. She's dancing, folks. She's dancing. Run away! Run away! Am I kidding? <laughs> Alright, hold on. I need to... So how are they... Oh, it's like a really thin... <clears throat> okay, I have to stay out of screen or out of shot for this one because I need to actually really truly see. I think it's a little tight through here and... Hovering in front of the camera and painting at the same time is not going to happen with this angle. It's just, it's not there. You will see it in just a second. See, there's just like this little narrow strip right there. Oh, and as I painted her... Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to paint over that anyways. Um, <laughs> don't paint with a side that has paint on it. There's this little strip of her corset top strap thing right there so mm -mm -mm. need to move your recliner to the office for the upcoming week Ooh, there you go oh well that's not good i i still do my games and stuff i i you know i i can manage both the uh, animal crossing and the role-playing stuff thankfully thankfully i like animal crossing it's just it's sweet it's just sweet and pure there are some 
villagers. That's what you call the little animals who live on the islands. There are some villagers who I find rather irritating. And there are others who I'm, I just want to, like, scoop them up and protect them. Because they're so darn cute. My coal and my bow. Oh, dear lord. Oh, dear lord. The two of them, my buggy boys. Because they both like bugs. Like, they're always talking about bugs when you talk with them. So, they're just sweetness embodied. I adore the little catchphrases they have. And they have won my heart over to the point where I actually like, put a playground in the island for them. So they would have a place to play. Yes. Yes, I am that. That invested in the well-being of little AI villagers. <laughs> okay, so here we go with that lovely sunny apricot. Oh, I love this. This is nice. This is very pretty. There we go. All right, very cool. And again, because it's a shadow layer, this is going to be another single layer deal. I'm letting all that show through. I'm quite happy with that one. All right, now we're going to shift over to Limeade for the corset bodice, whatever it wants to be. Oh, man. Lose yourself on the floor. I try not to. It's the name of the song. So, yeah, this is Limeade. I'm so happy to be painting with craft paints again. It's it's not even funny. <laughs> I miss my craft paints. Oh, God. Yes, I, yeah, Jake uh, pulled out uh, Be Behir Arthur because of our painting Blue Anne. And I sent him the damn thing, too. <laughs> Literally. All right, so the limeade is going on the shoulder straps and the bodice. Yep, pull her in, pull her in. Ah. Being very careful around the edges. I think I might name her Sprite, like the drink Sprite. <laughs> I just realized these are Sprite colors. That's okay. It's kind of like a coloring book. You get the edges outlined first. And then you go in. But I'm definitely liking these two colors together. This is fun. This is the brightness I needed. Just colorful and pretty. Colorful and purdy. Colorful and purdy. Let's see, I want to tip my camera. I want to keep going forward, so let me tip the camera. Yeah, that's closer to my natural hold. Oh, thank you. Yes, go go to bed. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, I was trying to find a nice complimenting color for the skin tone, too. And I think that's going to be a really nice combination for the two of them. I'm liking this a lot. My pretty little sprite. Yeah, I think that's her name. Sprite. Little Sprite. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. My nose is starting to itch like crazy. Thank you, allergies. I'm going to be making a funny face right now so I don't sneeze. And it's being recorded, which is fantastic, isn't it? Well, it is for those of you watching. Watch me make funny faces. Yoink. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, Jake just clarified that. Um, it's her sister. Her sister came for an unexpected visit. <laughs> Unfortunately. For Cantriel and Griveth, right? Ugh. I was so shocked Cantriel got hit. I forget. It was Griveth, wasn't it? Hold on, I gotta pull her in close. Remember, if you need stability in your brush, pull your mini in close to your body as if you're saying a prayer, only you're holding your mini in your hands instead. Which is what I'm doing right now, but you can't see because, you know, the camera angle isn't there. But basically, it's holding in tight like this. It gives you more stability to what you do. Uh, I do it all the time. 
And you can hold your breath. Just make sure you hold it for like a count of 10 and then release and breathe. Okay. That's important. The breathing is still important. <laughs> At least I saved by like what? A point? Gah. I still had an inspiration, I think, or something. <laughs> the faces and the different voices. I didn't realize. That's been the other interesting side effect. I didn't realize how much I phase between essentially character voices until I went to work and I started talking with people and I started doing it and people are looking at me like, what are you doing? Still pulled in because of the tight spot. Bear with me. Almost got it. Okay, so see. How cute is that? Oh, I love this color combination. It's like... <sighs> 85 lightning damage. We only took half damage. Jake, I don't want to die! I don't want Cantrio to die. She's too much fun. Then I'd, if, if anything were to happen in Cantriel, I would have to come back as something completely different. Without question. How about like a sullen rogue? <laughs> there you go. I'll bring back uh, Leia. Leia. Tylea. That's what it was. Tylea. I was trying to remember. What was that last one from Nerdicky? Tylea. I'll bring her back. She's fun. Oh, she's moody. <laughs> This is what we're looking like so far. She has that little jewel thing at her throat. I think a really pretty bright orange might be in order for that. Make it look like a citrine. I think that'd be fun. I'm going to give her some fun colored boots because I can. Just getting a couple spots again. But I think that's pretty much it for the green. Oh, not... Mm, almost. Spoke too soon. Spoke slightly too soon. Doink. Yoink. And yoink. That's better. Yeah, I want to do this as like a really pretty bright orange. Oh, I love it! Michael Boulay. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Behind the curtain time, people. Look at, see? And that's just four of the 12? <laughs> I need an orange, 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 orange. That's an old orange. I need to throw out that orange. How about pumpkin orange? I'm gonna go for pumpkin orange. No, I don't wanna do purple. I'm doing orange. I'm keeping this very bright, bright and vibrant. I don't want to go into purples. I am bringing a turquoise in for her boots, but I don't want to go purple. Doo -doo -doo. I'm not even bothered. I'm just taking it right from the cap. There's no point in uh, putting it onto the palette because it's literally just that little touch right there I want to get. Which, hmm, that's going to be fun to get. I think I can get it from this angle. Oh, there we go. What I'll do is I have a really cool metallic orange. I will put over that. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that little dot and then I'll do the metallic. That'll be nice. Absolutely. I love that. My, I'm still laughing over the Michael Belay. That's perfect. That's utterly perfect. Truly. <laughs> Michael Belay. That actually would be a good name for uh, a PC. Michael Boulet. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Okay. Um, -na -na. You know what? I was going to treat it like stockings, but I think I'm going to go back and actually give her a nice little lake pop of color. So I'm going to go back to that brown oxide for the skin tone. Which luckily is still going strong. I was going to do cute little stockings, but I'm, I'm going to skin now. I think I'd rather that than a stocking color. Yeah, I like that better.
Yeah, this is good. Showing a little leg there. <laughs> TJ Hookor. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, hey, did I get the photos of the white dragon? Oh, down under Blender. I have been getting photos of many minis lately. Uh, I honestly don't know. I will have. Did you email them to me or did you tag me? If you emailed me, that'll be an easier search. Um, but yeah, it has been a busy month, to say the least. Yeah, I like that. I like that with her little leg. Little sassy frass. Now, let me see here. Is that... I think that's trying to be part of the dress, too, now that I'm looking at this a little closer. Because there's the bag, but I think this little flap is actually the other end of her dress flicking out. So let's go and address that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That is what it is. Email. Okay, I will look and see. I will very much look and see. It could very well... I mean, I feel awful, but there have been emails that I got right before this whole isolation loveliness kicked in and life turned into a whirlwind. So I will have to double back and see about that. <laughs> But thank you for joining this evening. It is appreciated. Yeah, there we go. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so now... That is definitely part of the bag, though. Okay, so that is part of the bag, and the bottom part was part of the dress. Alright, now I'm going to do her little booties. Or her boot, I should say, because she doesn't have two. You know, well, she has two, it's just, you know, it's hidden. Oh, God, she's cute. I love these chibis. How are we doing on time? We are at... All right, so like another 12 minutes, and then I'm going to call it an evening, folks, because uh, I've been in front of a screen that are taking pictures all day, and my eyes are getting tired. I am going to go... Oh, God. It's funny, I don't want to say when things get back to normal, because I have a feeling things are going to change, I and mean, that's going to be a given. But when things get back to being able to safely associate with one another, and we're a little less frenetic and frantic about what's happening, I think that'll make a difference for everyone. At least I hope so. That is my hope. Yeah, I mean, where I am, we have been very much locked down, do not go out unless you have to. I was actually surprised that my doctor's office called and said, hey, you need to come in for an appointment. I was like, you really want people coming in just because for, you know, general appointment stuff? I'm like, yeah, we're, they're staggering. So like they have, I can see how they can do this because of the way the office is set up. They're staggering so that there's the, God forbid someone has COVID, they go in and get checked out in a certain area. And then there's the healthy, normal, whatever patient side of things that they're going to be doing. So at least I know that's the case, but you better believe I'm wearing my mask because you have, we actually have to wear masks when we go out. That has been mandated that you wear a mask. So I'm using this really fun color, which I didn't tell you about. <laughs> turquoise. I love this turquoise. It is a beautiful turquoise. It is truly a turquoise. I tested it against my one piece of turquoise jewelry that I had. So I'm going to go in and paint this up. This fun little kick of bright blue, which I love against orange. I thought that would be fun. Let's hope for a vaccine. Yeah, let's hope for... Let's hope for a lot of things. That is for sure. It is a heartbreak, what's going on. Let's not dwell upon that, though. I'm not trying to make light of the situation in any way whatsoever, but we're already having to think and dwell upon it far too much as it is. Oh my gosh, I, I really need to get hold of more chibi minis. Because I... Because when I painted the wizard, the little wizard who came with this grouping, because it's a set of six. Laura! One second, she's eating something. No. Do not. Do not. That's not edible. Oh, dear God, you're dumb dumb. Always an adventure with that one. Um, but I remember with the wizard... His being so darn adorable and sweet that I figured tonight, let's paint a little cutie pie again 
and enjoy it, which I very much am. I hope you are. All right, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for the blue, because that's pretty much all I can do for the blue. Oh, no, I can make the flowers blue. Let's do that. Yeah, let's give her flowers the blue. Oh, it's a great color for Underdark. I love Underdark terrain. And people have been asking me if I'm going to be doing terrain again. I am at capacity with storage, my friends. Um, I probably won't be doing terrain unless I'm commissioned to do it, quite frankly. Like I did for Cobalt Press. <sighs> Between the terrain we already have and the minis I have now. Um, <laughs> matching belt. I mm, Let me think about that. I don't know. I don't know. Let me think about that one. Um, but yeah, so as fun as it is to make terrain and everything like that, I have nowhere to put it. And I also don't know if I'll really be able to take on any commissions at this time because of my work demands. So, it's pretty much mostly going to be minis. I'm the mini muse. <laughs> Literally! <laughs> I'm the mini muse. Hi, Schmoll. It's always fun chatting with a friend and they realize they have like a good foot on you. <laughs> Oh, God, what is it with cats? Well, I mean cats, but she's she's hysterical. She will go after stuff and run away with it. She stops. She looks at you with glee in her eyes. Hee <laughs> hee. And away she goes. Are we playing the stare at the ceiling game to freak me out and there's actually nothing there? I have two of them doing it now. Hemingway and Rory are both at it. Doodly doo. Yeah, I like this for the flowers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that apricot for the center. That'll work out nicely. But yeah, I like that little. That'll be pretty with the dark black hair too. So yeah, I like that a lot. Do I want to put it in the middle though? What I might do is actually put it here on the sword. I don't want to put it on the belt. The belt's going to be a nice warm, warm brown color. That's what I can do. I can put it on the sword, and I can also do it here on the scabbard details. That's where it'll go. She has... The staff is interesting. I'm still trying to figure out the staff. I think this is a magical effect, so I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be also a similar turquoise blue, but I'm going to use my color shifting paint for that. And um, so it has a magical quality to it, but I am going to nod back to the turquoise, yes. Tonight I figured I'm just going to get some basic colors down, which really because of the shadow layers, I don't do too much work on them after I'm done. Between the style of the mini and the way that the colors are shading themselves through, it's worked out quite nicely. I'm happy about that. Yeah, we're getting close, folks. We're getting close. But I'm quite glad I did this because uh, I have missed you all, truly. Mr. Little Chats. I am going to be on Nerdarchy next Thursday at noon, uh, doing their hour interview thing that they do. That's just come back around again, which I think is lovely. So I'm looking forward to that one. <gasps> no! <laughs> I didn't know I did a doodly-doo. <laughs> I learned something new. Do I really go doodly-doo a lot? Huh. That's funny. That's funny. I didn't realize that. Little idiosyncrasies. Oh yes, this is such a pretty color. Actually, I think I use I think I use this on the wizard. <laughs> yeah, well, Hemingway, he has eaten through about five headphones this year. Two of them rather nice ones, which is why now I will only buy cheap, cheap cheap headphones I did just get myself a pair of noise cancelling wireless but for some reason they don't work too well with streams I've tried but like midway through I start getting this really weird crackling happening and it's not battery life because I can wear them the next day and they're totally fine the whole day without having been charged so alright that is the blossoms petals 
Now I need to get the center of the blossoms with that tangerine. Oh, I'm loving these colors though. Oh, they're so bright and pretty. I've needed this. I've needed a colorful miniature. <laughs> Dungeon Matron! That was perfect. <laughs> Gygax, Gygax eats dried leaves, paper, and plastic. He's an idiot. My cat, not Luke. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, I love that you clarified that. That was adorable. Thank you. All right, fun little dot of apricot. Oh, look at how sweet. <laughs> that was really was wonderful. Ah. Uh, I might have to go back and watch this and literally just like copy and paste your comment and just share that in socials if you don't mind, because that's a laugh I think a lot of people get a kick out of. How are we doing? All right, we have about three minutes left. Oh, but I do like these colors. This is fun. Is it worth while well, it's out? Hmm. Might be easier to paint it. I wasn't planning on doing the, the weapons yet, so I don't have the colors I want with me. Uh, oh, I do want to get her eyes going. I'm going to do her eyes. At least get the white going of her eyes. That was the last thing I wanted to get on. And then I'm going to do her hair, I think. I believes. I believe, I believe, I believe. Again, I don't need a lot. I just need a touch. There we go. Just a touch. And I am using the snowflake. This is a great, it's a great, not true white, but bright. You know, it's like a very light, 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 gray, almost white. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with that. I do want the paint thinned. Because I found it's great for eye color or for the whites of the eyes, but you do kind of have to build it up every so often. There we go. <laughs> I might... I think I'm going to flip down to a finer point brush, though. Because I don't want this to hop onto the skin. Yeah, I'm going to need a finer tip. For sure. I don't want to muck that up. But, you can see... Oh, she kind of looks like Storm right now. It does a really great job of getting the white of the eyes established. And then she's going to have these very pretty emerald green eyes, I decided. I thought with dark jet black hair and green eyes, that would be a very pretty combination of features. So, let me see. I think what I'm going to do is finish her eyeballs. Finish up her eyeballs, and then we're going to say goodnight to each other, my darling dears. I especially see you know it's the good brush because I keep that on there. I'm so mean to my brushes. I am a brush bully and I know it and I fully admit it. Let's see if I can do this without pulling her off screen. I gotta get quiet. Concentrating. I'm thinking. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jake. Appreciate that. I find it ironic I'm doing the eyes while my eyes are starting to get tired. May not be the wisest thing to do. What I need to look into getting are, because I wore my contacts today and I'm noticing there is a difference. My normal glasses. Oh God, no. <laughs> She's not jaundiced. Um, my normal glasses, when I wear them, and I have been lately because of my allergies, they have that blue light screening stuff in them or filter. What's it called? Um, the treatment to keep the blue light from your computer from straining your eyes. My contacts obviously do not have that. And today I'm noticing a huge difference. So I think what I need to do is go out to my um, eye doctor's website and see if they sell just the strictly 
Obviously, because when I wear my contacts, I don't want prescription level. See if they sell the lenses that are just to help filter blue light. Because, boy, howdy, am I feeling it. Oh, these are such fun little minis. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I will tuck her to the side and save her for my next stream. Thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate that. I am quite happy with how it worked out and the development of it. Do I miss being able to do my live streams every week? Absolutely, I do. But like I said, there's, there's other fun things hopefully on the horizons. We'll see what comes of it. Right now is just a really weird time to commit to much because uh, it keeps changing every day. Rightfully so. I almost have it to where I want it to be. I'm being stubborn. Alright, there we go. So I am happy with her eyes right there. She says as she quickly realizes. Hold on. Oh, bear with me. Bear with me. There's that little corner area I really want to get. Okay, that's better. There we go. So now we have our eyes, which, like I said, I'm going to make them this very pretty green. Will be the plan. So I'm going to let her sit to the side. I'm going to worry about the hair later. I'm not going to do the hair tonight because I don't want to oops a daisy it and then kick myself. Um, but I am loving the colors. I'm loving the skin tone. That is just... Oh, it's so rich looking. Love that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So next time we come back together, not sure what it's going to be. So just keep an eye out. I'm going to try and be, I want to try and do maybe every other week if I can. Please don't hold me to that because again, my weeks, they vary in terms of what the demands are now. But I'm going to jump back into finishing up Sprite and uh, hopefully chatting with you again next time. So yes, this has been lovely. This has been needed on my part and hopefully on your part, you've enjoyed this too. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. Have a lovely evening, and I hope you all have fantastic weekends. Uh, find something fun to do for yourselves. Oh, Self-care is very important right now. And until then, please, please find me over on Twitter. That is where I am most active, all right? That is the very, very best way to keep in touch with me. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it back on this thing because this has some heft to it, so I know she'll be safe from the kids. Uh, but please stay safe. Please take care of yourselves. Make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> That's the mom and me coming out. You have to forgive me. And uh, I will talk to you all later. And again, please just shoot me messages or whatever it is over on Twitter. Facebook, I will check every so often as well. But Twitter is sort of my, my new home, I guess, is the best way. Because that's literally my speed right now. <laughs> 120, what is it? 240 characters? 200 something characters? That's where I am right now. Um, all right, everyone. Much love to you all. And I'll talk to you later. Uh, bye. <laughs>